In part two of the batch processing tutorial, we will now use the analysis template created from part one to perform batch processing of data from ten similar data files. To begin the process, I select the file menu and choose batch processing. I'm going to load an analysis template for each data file. This list will show you all the OGW files in your user files folder. So it picked up the one I had previously saved. I'm going to import files and can now select the files. The data sheet is the first sheet, the one we renamed raw data, and the one in which each data file will be imported into. It correctly picked those up from the list. Result sheet is the one we created and of which the contents will be appended to a new output sheet, given this name here. So this book will be created. I can now click OK to perform the batch processing. I now just sit back and watch the rest happen. So 8 out of 10 files are being processed and we have our summary report sheet. I can double click here to expand so it'll auto it'll auto adjust the width. I could have saved my summary sheet with long names here so I could have labeled this as file name, peak center, peak height, and then that would have carried over as well in my report sheet. And if you wish to turn on spark lines, we could do that. These are temperature values, so we should actually sort based on that. So I can highlight, right click, and do a sort worksheet. I could have also made sure the files were sorted prior to doing the batch processing. So when I selected the files in that dialog, we could have sorted them by file name as well. And in that dialog, the file batch processing dialog, there was an option to delete the intermediate worksheet. So you see that we ended up with just the new summary report sheet. We could have also kept the results from each data file if we wanted. But you'll see now without any programming that it's very easy to perform batch processing of your data files. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.